Papa Johnny King Champion Echo Mina Choka Mina Tinia Area And Jaka Master Bouta A fine to the beat in your area A Papa Choka your selector And the man Johnny and Bernard Fiwi Singer And Digital Round the Mixer Watch out, boom shot. You're telling him to tell us a make the way to Burma now. So this one, I'm sure shot. If you can't stop, boom shots. Boom shots. Whatever you're going to do, rehearse it and get it proper before you go and record it. Okay, yeah, and that rehearsal is a serious thing. I've of heard course, stories about artists who thought they had the tune ready, but you say, no, that's not ready yet. Yeah, yeah, that's not ready yet at all. <laughs> have to come again. Exactly. Yeah. And is it true also that when you were actually building some of these rhythms, that there would be, like, it was a live session. It wasn't just drum machine and, you know, even if, though we, we call it digital, yeah. It's a live musician thing happening. Yeah, we have live musicians, you know. We incorporate some of them with, like, some part of rhythm is live and some part is digital, you know. Mm. We give it a mix just to hear a different sound. Some of the rhythms are like that. Right, right. You know? Exactly. Because you'll even hear a great saxophone master like Dean Frazier right. playing. And then the drum is a digital drum machine and then... You have the keyboard, it's digital too. What you have Dean Fraser on there, your guitar would be live and, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And and it was all going to an analog tape, right? Yes. It's, it's not just going onto a, a computer hard drive. Going to an analog tape. Yeah, so there's some warmth to these rhythms. Warm sound. Absolutely. But even as we talk about this live thing, I, I got to fast forward because time is so short and I want to talk about a rhythm that you pioneered, which more than anything in the history of Jamaican music is a turning point in the business. And uh, I'm just going to run the track off this laptop here. The rhythm don't need too much introduction, but let's just make the people hear this. After this rhythm played, nothing else was ever the same. Sounds to the man called Wayne Smith. That is the immortal under Miss Slangton. I tell you, that, that was the reason that changed the whole scene. Everything, the world, you know, everything mash up. I, I know you had to kill a sound with that one the first time it brandished. Scorpio. Jack Scorpio still feeling that one, right? Yeah. All right, let's get back to how this thing come together because nothing really ever sounded like that before in, yeah. in reggae music. Yeah. How did how did the Slangton originate? Well. You know, Noel Davy and Wayne Smith was using their Casio to build a rhythm and this drum pattern came up and, and they, they sort of liked it. Mm. But somehow they, they they lost it and, you know, I was in London at the time and, you know, they told me they had this rhythm. My wife called me and said, boy, I didn't have a bad rhythm here, but they lost it. So I flew in like a couple of days later and um, we found back the beat and then we had the rest of the music to it. And I went straight away. I did the 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 the, 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 the um, It was too fast. Okay. So I used the tempo to slow it down. Just ease it down a little. Ease bit. it down a little, and okay. then the double and overdub what's there. I I personally play the percussion and the syndrome. Oh, the two. And the clap, pop pop, and the, you know. Wow. So we went straight in the studio and just laid down the rhythm. At any point, did you think? What the hell are we thinking? Because it didn't sound like anything. You're you're someone who comes from the King Tubby University and Black Uhuru High Times players. This is a, a cheap plastic keyboard rhythm. I yeah, mean, but you know what? I always love to research. You know what I mean? I love to discover new things. So when I heard that, I said, "This attracted me right away as a new sound." And I've been listening for years to hear something new in the business. Right. And this was it, you know? Yes, to it was. To me, this was the, the, the sound that I was listening for. Okay. So I knew that it was, it was going to be an impact in the business. So how did you test it? How did the first public performance of this track Well, as out? you know, I had my sound system, my super power sound system. Yes, so I do. What I did, when I recorded on the Muslim thing, that was the first track that was recorded. Okay. 
I sent it out on the sound system. All right. And that weekend was tore apart with that rhythm. And I said, you know what? We have to start mixing some of the tracks on it now and put it on the street. Because the sound system was like my radio station. Right. That's what I used to use to promote my records. You know? Okay, okay. Before, you know, anybody even hear, I sent it to the dance. And then it shows me how the people react to it. So I knew that this song or these songs needed to go out there and release. And, you know, that's what... That's how I did it in the early days. Now, that first time when you test it, was that actually a clash or that was just a juggling thing? That was a juggling in the era in Waterhouse era. But we had a dance the following week Okay. with Black Scorpio. All right, which is a big rival sound. Big right? rival sound. So yeah. when I drew that rhythm in the dance that night, he had to lock off his sound because nobody wanted to hear any other rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have loads of artists on that rhythm. I just keep Tenor on. Saw, Super Cat, yeah, Echo John Yansberg. Yes, yes. Know. On and on and on. Yeah, and man. On. I mean, one of my personal favorite is the, the old time Proverbs, Pumpkin Belly. Yeah, Pumpkin Belly. Tenor Saw. Wicked. Just if you could speak about Tenor Saw because, you know, he was an artist whose career was tragically cut very short. Right. There's never been another voice like him. But you know what? I want to give you a history about that particular song. Okay. That song was done as a special on the Friday. The Friday, um, Sugar Miner took Tenasaw to the studio. They were going to country to play for a sound. So they were doing it as a special. Because he worked with youth promotions a lot yes. of time. Yes. Right. Okay. And you know, those days they didn't do special what's called in the name. Was just oh what about what pumpkin belly? That was a special. Okay, all right. You know, without okay. any name calling in it. So when I did it now, I said, you know what? This tune here wicked and I should catch it on a cassette. So I put in the cassette and recorded the special. You know? So when I recorded a special, I called Tennessee after and I said, Tennessee, you can come back tomorrow and do the song for me. Yeah. I love the song, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know? He said, Yeah, but we need some money, you know. So I gave him eight grand, you know. <laughs> eight grand. Yeah, so he went to country and he came back the Saturday, was to do the recording. But he couldn't sing it like how he sang it on, on the, the day before. Couldn't find the note. So I played back the cassette for him. I said, you know what happened? I will use this cut. And I just put it back to eight track and EQ it up. And then, you know, that was the release, the cassette. And the rest is history. Let's just yeah. touch a piece of that because we can't talk about this record and don't play it. This song blew my mind. I've never been the same since the first time I hear this tune. Sure. Yes, you got to work hard to gain. <laughs> God know the old time problems. That's the only way to do it, you know. <laughs> and you should know, King Jammy, you should know. So he's talking about Sugar Belly on the saxophone. That's a real yeah, musician. Yeah, that's a real musician from Downbeat Days, you know. Sock okay. Coxon. Didn't he used to Sock play Coxon. some unorthodox instrument like Sugar Belly? It's not only saxophone he plays. He plays some like... Some, some, some um, clarinet and some... Other some old time bamboo yeah thing. bamboo and bamboo all of that yeah, yeah yeah mad mad i mean you know i have to take off my hat to you for that song alone that song changed my life and mm. put me on the path i am here doing today and you know just have to say salute from the whole boom shots family yeah, for that one day